Do you need some pruning? Welcome to Rise Up. Happy Easter. This is Father Jonathan Meyer. Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branches. My father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch of me that does not bear fruit. And everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. During my holy hour every day, there are some biblical passages that I read every single day. And this is one of them. I ask God every single day to take away every branch of me that doesn't bear fruit, to take away the things in my life that don't bear fruit. And then I also pray that what is bearing fruit will be pruned, so that will be more fruitful. Uh, I want to be fruitful as a priest. I want to be fruitful as a father. I want to be fruitful as a pastor. So I want to get rid of the things in my life, in my ministry, that are not bearing fruit. And what is bearing fruit I want it to be all the more fruitful. And so I just use this passage as a way to do that. And so I think just a little reflection for all of you, no matter what your vocation is, whether you are married, whether you're single, whether you're a widow, whether you're a widower, whether you're trying to find your vocation to just say, dear Lord, please take away anything in my life that I don't need. Just the things in my life that are not bearing fruit, that are not giving me joy and peace, just take them away. And the things that are bearing fruit in my life, the things that are good, dear Lord, you, I give you permission to prune them so they can bear more fruit. And I just think it's a beautiful pa pa pas passage for us to reflect upon. And uh, allow this Easter season, like Lent, everybody's all about like penance and discipline and changing their lives and messing things up to try to be virtuous and try to be holy. And God wants that all year round. And so, Dear Lord, what are the things I need to remove from my life? And what are the things in my life that need to be adjusted so that I can bear fruit? And I can bear it more abundantly. And I can have life. And I can have peace. And I can have joy. I can have the fruits of the Holy Spirit, right? So pray for those graces today. By the way, today also um, is May the 1st. Uh, so happy May Day to all of you. And uh, hope that someone gives you some flowers today. God bless you. Thank you.